teams. Uh, a surprise stream this Friday evening, uh, GMT time in UK and Irish time. Uh, welcome uh, again, another surprise stream. So we're in Toronto. Uh, we're going to go to Toronto. No one's joined yet. Uh, would anybody join at all? Let's see. Surprise stream, crazy madness. Graphics are looking great. Uh, this, well, mm, I spot something actually. Uh, but I hope you're all, I hope you're all uh, doing well this Friday. Well, total of zero viewers. And hang around for a minute. Uh, we're in Toronto and we're going to Kennedy International Airport. Uh, so that is going to be fun. Uh, I think it takes about an hour, probably a little bit longer with my flip flopping around. So I'm learning the Airbus. Uh, I haven't, I suppose, to study it this week on. I did not do that. So I have not done my homework. But just one or two things of flight, you know, one or two things of flight and happy days. That's how it's done. Uh, I have five viewers. A deep feature as always, hooray! <laughs> deep features here. Uh, surprise stream, deep feature. This is uh, Toronto, as I was saying, um, and I'm going to do a surprise. Well, you know that I was a surprise because I didn't tell anybody that I was streaming. Hello, hello, deep feature says. When I say hello, hello back. Oh, the sound is a bit low, thank you, because I hadn't got my mic, uh, I hadn't got my microphone. Close enough, thank you. <laughs> See what you forget. I should have a I, I should have a checklist for the stream, folks. I really should. So we're in Toronto. Sound is good. Uh, all the lights and bells and wishes are flashing, uh, and that's great. Perfect. Deep Future says. I think now I've got it just right. If it peaks, Deep Future, because you're so helpful. In all fairness, now seriously, uh, sometimes if I if I oh, go, oh my God, and I speak out very loud, it sounds peaky. Sounds bad. Let me know if that happens. Uh, Johnny F73, hello to you as well. Greetings and salutations this Friday, this Friday afternoon. Uh, I'm in Toronto. Uh, and hopefully, Dean Fisher's brilliant with the Airbus. Uh, I'm, I was kind of thinking, will he come on? Will he help me? Will he just one, two things every flight? Uh, two things every flight, and then eventually I'll get it. I have printed out a checklist. Not, you know, there's loads of them, but this should be near enough. I haven't, the, the, the aircraft is actually sitting on the runway. <sighs> very bad, very bad, uh, because I, I didn't, I didn't study. I didn't do any study, guys. Um, ah, Johnny F73 says, I finally caught you in a surprise stream. You have, indeed. Uh, now my videos, uh, I'm, I'm planning, I'm planning to get this YouTube thing sorted out. Uh, it's just me, my time, and all that stuff you got to do in life uh, to get a real schedule, right? So I am planning to go back to YouTube video. Oh, I am planning to get back to my YouTube videos. Um, I just have to reach across here because if the television goes off, power saving, you know, all that kind of stuff. If the TV goes off, uh, it messes up the stream. Anyway, where was I? What was I saying? I hear a bing. A few seconds ago, uh, Oisk Gaming 11 has used two bits. Cheer, cheer. Oh, thank you very much, Oisk. Brilliant. Uh, I have to give away some bits now as well. I was watching, who was it? Damn it, I was trying to give them away two bits. And I don't think, I think it's say cheer two, isn't it, for two bits? Isn't it? So I'll do that. Uh, to, you know, spread, spread the love. <laughs> spread it around. So we're in Toronto. Uh, I'm kind of, I, I, I've got a checklist. I have the aircraft's actually sitting uh, on the run beginning of 2-6, uh, which is very naughty of me. I will get to the stage where I do the whole lot. That will happen. So as I said, every flight, three or four things, you know, it all adds up. We're in Toronto. Weather's looking very nice. Uh, looking pretty cool. Uh, this is not, this is just standard scenery. Um, just standard scenery, but it looks pretty damn good. I didn't know, I don't know what you're asking. I don't know much about Canada. I've never been. Um, it was my one of my choices when I went off like a lunatic with a rucksack. It was either Canada or Australia at the time. Um, and I didn't go to Canada, but I think I w I'd like to go to Canada. But I didn't know that the airport was so close to the city, the city centre. That's pretty cool. Do you know? Uh, I wonder can you do uh, light aircraft in here? I wonder. Uh, let's have a look here now, I think, uh, any more comments? Okay, great. So, uh, you want to see me fly, uh, and I think we shall begin the flight. Now, one thing I noticed about this, look at the jagged edges here. 
what's that? That's the update. There's been a new update. Is that the, because of the update? Is the little bug just up in Canada? Uh, or is it some sort of a joke? Because sometimes the Americans slag the Canadians. I think unnecessarily. I don't know why. It's like Australia and New Zealand, you know. They slag each other. Neighbours. Uh, England and Ireland are slagging each other, you know. Uh, but here we are uh, uh, at the beginning of runway 2.6. Um, so I've chosen this livery because I like it. <laughs> Look at that scenery. I like that, that kind of old school livery for American Airlines. I think it's pretty cool. So I'm going to take off. Uh, there's going to be a little bit of, you know, holy cow, what's going on. That looks just great screenshot, you know. So let's begin the flight. Let's hop the cockpit. Okay, activate that screen. That would be good. Everything's set up. Uh, I haven't done my homework, as I was saying. What the deuce? What are you doing? Just... Okay. Oh, that's not good. I also have my Thrustmaster active, so I'm going to get rid of that. Uh, see, the update now is going to play games on me. Uh, let us go into controls. And just get rid of the Thrustmaster, shall we? Uh, Thrustmaster Hot Toss Throttle, yes please. And I want to well I want to keep him. It's actually the GQ6 uh, I want to get rid of. Why have that set up for twin? Why? I have one for everything disabled. Uh, the TQ6, so things don't get mixed up. I'm spoiled with all the controls. No, I don't. That's interesting. I just won't touch it. Default. There we go. Blind save. Go back. Resume. Uh, there's binging going on. There is binging going on. Yeah, I know the parking brake is on. Configuration. Oh, it's taking the flaps up. Has it? No, it hasn't. What's wrong with my configuration? What the deuce? Oh, no. Did I try to take the gear up? No, the gear won't come up. Is that lever here? No. Uh, press control, it will clear the ward. Oh, hang on, I can do here. Yep, it just was that moment when I added. Do you know what happens? I think I added power unknowingly, and the flaps may have come down or something. Anyway, look. Uh, yeah. So uh, I'm going to take off. I'm breaking it a little bit, Johnny F73. Um, uh, and we'll see how things go. <laughs> All right, stop flip laughing around. Oh, I'm gonna check my controls. Because sometimes with these updates, folks, you know, you know what happens, crazy madness happens. Okay, we're all set up, let's go. Uh, brakes off, I go manually. L parking brake. Air transponder and all that kind of stuff's already done. So let's go, full power, uh, uh, take off power. Uh, I should have done the whole 50% thing. Uh, that's good, fine, let's go. <laughs> it's a very short runway. It certainly looks like it. Uh, have they fixed the rudder pedals? I'll have to tr try a light aircraft shortly. Okay, airspeed's alive, we're all good. Uh, we're barreling down the runway. Uh, oh, I haven't set many things up. I'm in trouble. Oh, 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 rotatey boos, rotatey boos. 15 degrees. There we go. A little bit more than 15. Positive rate, you're up. Excellent. We're all good. Climbing nicely. I'm just keeping an eye in here now. A little bit too steep. Don't frighten the passengers. Let's start our turn. I follow the flight director at the moment. Our speed's increasing. Uh, I suppose I could activate the autopilot. No. That should be set. That should be set. That should be set. And that should be set. No. <laughs> autopilot on. Oh, it's a nice transition. Flaps coming up. I hear more binging. Uh, Joey Bob is here. And Dren... Drenanian. Lots of people. What the juice? There's a gang. There's a gang uh, online, folks. Flaps are up, gears up. Brilliant. After takeoff checklist, I'll have a read of those. Quite a few comments coming up. Uh, I got, yeah. I'm learning. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, no, 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 no,
That's what's, I'm, fine. I'm being followed, and this is great news. No, that's after landing. Panic! <laughs> is that doing what it, it is? Uh, after takeoff, okay, here's up, fine. Flaps are up, great. Spoilers uh, are disarmed. So I'll disarm the spoilers. Oh, that's down. If anyone sees something I'm doing wrong, let me know in the comments. Uh, Fair Isle Pilot says, What a flight, like we stole it. I am practically flying like I stole it because I, I'm not an Airbus pilot and I haven't done any homework. I haven't studied the Airbus. Uh, 5,000 feet, great, okay, fine. Let's go to 5,000. Oh, now, oh, oh, big mistake. And I'm being distracted. Back, power comes <laughs> back to climb. There we go, I just put it to there. Great, 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 that'll do. Uh, autopilot's on, nose light off. I'm gonna read all the scope. You get me when I'm taking off. You do that on purpose, I, I watch streams too. And you're all big people when they're taking off. Uh, where's the nose light? <laughs> oh my God, this thing's happening. What, where's my auto throttle? Oh my God, Shane. I grip him. Yeah, auto throttle. Now, this is something. That's because I had climb power on. See, I'm over speeding. I'm over speeding, right? And I'm in control of the power. Uh, RIP, or RIP, he says. You gotta enable manage speed mode. Okay, where's my manage <laughs> speed mode? But well, look, we're not dead yet. We're not dead yet, uh, folks. <laughs> you see, I got auto throttle, right? Oh, it's come off because the bloody autopilot came off. Uh, now that's something I need to find out why that happened. Uh, die, yeah, postponed. Yeah, death postponed. Autopilot, he says. Bat buttons, uh, get a gravel. Uh, stay safe. Good day. That's uh, an Aussie is on. Odin. Greetings and welcome. There's 433 viewers. What's going on? And you're. What? What the deuce? <laughs> that's just nuts. There's, there's lots of people following. I've only had like 20. <laughs> 433 viewers. I'm going to crash there. Do you want to make... Dragonforth, you, you hit the big time now. <laughs> now he's realising. What's going on? What's happening, for? <laughs> there's lots of people subscribing. Uh, yes, this is great news. Uh, now, usually... Usually, you know, uh, someone would follow, and I go, ah, hello, uh, extra bravo, how are you doing? Thank you for following. Uh, we're delighted to have you on the stream, uh, and I kind of go on about what we do. Oh, God. And, uh, but it's so many of them. Will I list them all out? Uh, will I, will I, I will, I, I think. We're, we're safe enough, 5,000 feet, we've got an hour to go. I've got plenty of time to do my cruise checklists and whatnot. So who's following? <laughs> Bellbro, 6505. Here, I'll go back to the beginning. Would you... Why does it do that when I scroll out the other screen? You see, I'm looking over here to my other screen. <laughs> it keeps beeping. <laughs> it's beeping like crazy. <laughs> We're all counting on your gripper, he says. Well, I don't know. I have been so distracted. I... <laughs> It's still gone. Ah. It's, it's, I have been so distracted that I crashed. Uh, was it a twin? A light twin? And uh, that's what happens, you know? So uh, I've forgotten loads of stuff. I was on the checklist. <laughs> nose light. Where's the nose light? Jesus, if they saw me, they'd never harm me. Uh, 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 right, no, it doesn't say the checklist does not map. There we go. Off. There, you see, I've learned something new. Okay, climb, uh, barometric, uh, and set the standard. So when we go above 10,000 feet, I'm going to climb now and have a look at the comments. Uh, let's go to, uh, let's go to 20,000 feet, uh, for the crack. Oh, no, I don't want to descend. I'm going to go up. Oh, man. I want to climb. We go to 14. Well, we want to have a look at some views in the way, folks, do you know? So I'm going to have a read of these comments now when we start climbing uh, and get into the cruise. Uh, and then I'm going to have a look. What the hell is going on? Do you know? <laughs> okay, 16, 5 is fine. Let's keep it even, 17. Indecisiveness. Uh, crazy madness is happening. Great, just 
thank you. Uh, we want to go up. Thank. Uh, I'll press him. And climb, please. Come on. Climb. Come on. Climb up. Why won't it work? Because everyone's watching now. I'm getting nervous. Uh, that was interesting. What happened, guys? Crazy Madness. Official raid. That's pretty cool. Uh, there's a throttle switch from 100 feet to 1,000 feet intervals. That's correct. So now everyone's gone. That was that was a bit of fun. I wonder. This is what I wanted to do to somebody. Uh, I wanted them to come on, climb. Uh, I want to climb. I won't climb for me now. So what happened there for oh, Microsoft official? Uh, crazy madness uh, Microsoft official raid well if it's Microsoft official welcome <laughs> and thanks for joining the crazy madness I'm learning how to fly the Airbus I can fly single engine pistons twins pretty much almost we haven't done that for a while but not these folks not the Airbuses and I can't even climb well do you know what you do if you don't know you just go to manual mode and there we go 1500 feet a minute uh, and there we go. So, uh, let's have a read some of these comments. Uh, set fee speed. There's a lot of stuff, Wind, that you haven't learned what to do. Uh, an awful lot. Now, the throttle is not. See? Could have stalled there, folks. Danger. And this is a little gap of my, in my knowledge. When I'm in climb speed, right? Do I have to have it right on the edge there? For the order. Oh, hang on. I see it now. Look, I've learned something new, folks. Just look here, right? Go it. If I don't have it exactly on the climb mode, it won't activate the auto throttle. And I had it just there for a second. Where is it? There we go, right? Now, it's not exact. I can see here it says that's manual throttle. It did say it though, auto thrust. Uh, so anyway, uh, the comments. Um, it's doing that thing again. I'm gonna move the mouse forward. The comments. So, uh, see the stream info forms. I just try to that here. I just assume it's a, ra a raid. Thank you very much for joining everyone on uh, Microsoft official. Um, I I do not. Let's work this way. But I, just in case, because you see some of my videos and you go, what's your man doing? Uh, I, am, I am an instructor, as most of you know, flight instructor on, on light aircraft. And I don't take, I take flight simulator very seriously because it's brilliant. But the actual flying itself, I purposely go out of my way to make mistakes, okay? Engine failures, don't look after the fuel. Uh, dangerous high altitude flying and you learn an awful lot about real life flying uh, by, with the sim like I went into a death valley uh, in Papua New Guinea uh, last stream on Sunday I stream every Sunday at 9 o'clock Irish time uh, 2100 hours local Irish time religiously on Sundays and anyway I went into death valley which means you've no horizon and the valley is enclosed and it goes up and you climb and you can't get out you stall and you crash and I did it that's what I did, uh, and uh, you learn an awful lot, and I'm calling them death valleys, you know? So it's great to, to see stuff like that. Um, so that's great. So uh, I'm told here it will work fine, but you need to set the target speed on the left of your autopilot. And yes, you're right, because well, I was kind of on managed speed there. I'm just on the edge of V uh, VNE there. So it just doesn't sometimes. It's my lack of knowledge. <laughs> and uh, I thought it would activate off uh, uh, auto throttle. So the autopilot is engaged. Auto throttle's here. Uh, and we're climbing up to 17,000 feet. So the speed. But there it is there you see so I thought it was just with the speed activated and the auto throttle 
Now it seems to be activated now. I think what happened was that I, I moved the throttles. I moved the throttles uh, out of their detent. Uh, there you go. It's Nordically his air. Fuel, gripper. Yes, I take just a drop. Yes, uh, I don't take much fuel on on Sundays. Sundays are the crazy days. Uh, I'm doing surprise streams during the week at the moment. Um, and I want to learn about the big boys, the big big jets. Uh, I learned actually on X-Play. Oh, I learned on another flight simulator. And I changed over to this one, uh, the 737. But 737's coming up to Microsoft now, the PMDG. So I just learned it, and I dumped it all, and I've been on Microsoft ever since. Um, now, the PMDG are bringing that out soon. Uh, they're bringing out the DC first. Uh, so I'll have to learn that. So I better, get, I better get my finger out of my, and actually get to learn the Airbus before the DC comes out, because I'm gonna have to learn the DC as well. Uh, and then when the 737 comes out, uh, I'd watch my own videos, my own tutorial videos, and recall how to fly it. So I got there, pretty much, pretty much got there. So we're flying out of Toronto, uh, and we are going to JFK at an hour. So it's going to be pretty, pretty interesting. I have sinned. Yes, that was a Freudian slip. Uh, that was a Freudian slip. Uh, but yeah, there's so many comments coming in. I didn't know what to do. What? The 400 people were on, folks. 400 people. Uh, that's a first for Group of Some Crazy Madness. Uh, for those of you who've just joined here, uh, I do a lot of YouTube videos, but I haven't recently. Um, purely, it's time. But I will be. It'll be back. So, let's go back into the real flying. Uh, let me have a look here and see people are saying let me scroll down uh, I watch the Microsoft official <clears throat> from time to time it's really good it's very enjoyable um, it is really very enjoyable now Dragon Forth he says uh, I have sinned I know I did sin I shouldn't have said that uh, what? doesn't really matter um, uh, let's have a look did you calibrate the throttle properly in the F EFB? No, because I don't know what the uh, EFB is. <laughs> so there's a lot, uh, certainly in the flight management computer, folks, right? So I've got a lot to figure out with the flight management computer. That is something I haven't touched on. So what I've been doing is, uh, during the week, I, a random stream, and ho if I get the time, I do a bit of study and learn something new. But lately, I've just been learning on the stream. So the flight management com computer is something I have to kind of master. Uh, and that's the whole thing about Flight Simulator. Now, what I wanted to do is print out the weather in JFK. And I was told how to do that last week. And I have forgotten. So we'll get back to that shortly. Okay, I was just... You need to go to settings and calibrate the throttle first. The first thing you need to do. Okay. Oh, the electronic flight black. It's the iPad. Oh, really? Really? Why would you? <coughs> okay. Okay, so fair enough. The cruise. Okay, check you can. Check weather. Okay, select approach. No, 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 no. Okay, great. So. Uh, I need to get the approach for JFK. I want to make sure I have the right frequency. Uh, thank you, everybody, for joining, by the way, who's just followed. Um, and there's some subscribers here. There's uh, Zed Bravo Mike uh, has just subscribed here one. I go up to the top here. Actually, I go up to the top here as much as I can. Uh, let me go to the bottom, actually, because I have to. There's a lot of people uh, coming on, folks. Uh, that's two months ago, a month ago, up 12 days ago. Uh, da, da. So I'm scrolling up, I'm on the screen here. So that's where, what I'm doing, do you know? Uh, so we had, there's a lot of you. Uh, yeah, there's, there, there's, there's a lot of you. 
<laughs> Thank you very much, folks. Um, that is good timing, I suppose, for surprise stream. Now, calibrate the speed. Now, I didn't think I'd have to, because in the old days, you know, do you uh, do you put it in here? Do you not put it in the FMC? No. No. But I'll tell you what I'm going to do. We're going to come back to those comments, okay? I'm going to do what I know because I don't want to get to the airport and the uh, IL, uh, it doesn't it doesn't capture the ILS. So uh, let us get first of all the frequency uh, from Navigraph of Kennedy International. So uh, it is Kilo Juliet, Kilo Juliet, Foxtrot Kilo. And there we go. Navigraph is great. Uh, they use the actual same charts. I mean, I used to pay for this. Um, they use the exact same charts than you would in real life. Now, they're not the same, the same, if you know what I mean, because that'll be illegal, but they're replicated. Uh, what runway was it coming in? Was it 3 1? Was it 3 1, I think? Uh, 1 1 1 3 5. I'm all panicked now. <laughs> Where's my pen? <laughs> one, one, three, five. Three, one, one, three, five. So hopefully, let's get that in. Oh, it's already there this time. Okay, great. Approach course, three, one, four. Three, one, four. Now, for those of you, you, you must be disgusted. But in time, I'll be the expert. You know, there's no doubt about it. That's all I need there. Now, let's go back to the comments. Uh, what else do we need? That's really it, except for the obvious flaps and whatnot. I took the flaps up, thank God. Now, uh, we're on auto throttle, and that's operating perfectly. So we're in the cruise, happy days, everything's fine. Uh, now, where are we with regards to time? Uh, flight plan. Uh, we have... Distance is 239 miles. Now, uh, we are at, let's say, uh, let's say 20,000 feet for argument's sake. Uh, 20,000 feet, let's multiply that by, is it by three? So 60 miles out, 60 miles out, we have to start our descent. Okay. So just get that in my head, and then I can start descending. You don't need the course for the ILS. Um, thank you. Uh, it's it's when I did the instrument rating way back in the day. You'd have the course in. You did for the seven three seven, but I just put it in anyway. You know, there's a lot of a lot of stuff not entered in here. So, panic stations. Uh, great. So we're two hundred thirty three miles away. Uh, I would like to print the weather because it's fun. Plus, yes, Steve Feature, thank you. I, I, I was going to say it was you who reminded me of that very simple uh, calculation. Uh, you multiply it by 3 and add 10. So I'll add 10, so we'll say 70. Right, 70 miles out. Um, those little things are so handy, those simple, and that's what they use in the real airlines. They go, if you're 30,000 feet, multiply it by 3, uh, and that's when you start your descent. I don't, the add 10 is new to me, maybe I've forgotten. Uh, it is the real world pilot CFI part reverting to actual training. Yes, that's correct. It was a while ago though. So, um, cruise descent. So, cruise here, this is a very simplified checklist, I think. Q and H, temperature, winds, transition altitude, minimums, and landing configuration. So, that's what I want to get ready for. Uh, you need the course for ILS in 737, but not here in the Airbus A320, Bugfrog says. Bugfrog, you're one of those people like Deep Feature who are gold dust to me because uh, you rarely see streamers flying the jet and they're learning. But we'll all learn together. Uh, I'm sure there's other people learning to fly the Airbus and probably frightened of it as well. You know, they're probably going, it's too intimidating. So, you know, 
uh, I don't know if you've seen my tutorials on YouTube. I like to keep it simple uh, so people can follow it, you know. So I'll, I'll do tutorials on this for sure. Uh, OTYQ. Ah, so OT, OTOG. <laughs> I can't pronounce it. OTOG. And remember to calibrate the throttle at least for the next flight. Otherwise, the detents don't work properly and the plane uh, is in the wrong modes. So, are you guys saying that you've got to, you've got to set it up in, the, in, the, in this pad here? Um. So I'm thinking it's all done to the FMC. Now, I have standard fuel, which is half tanks, which is unusual for me. But on Sunday, all that will change. There will be madness happening. Um, performance. Uh, current altitude. What's this sink? All right. All right. Interesting. Okay, I don't need grand stuff. D feature gear icon settings. Okay, gear icon. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Okay. The gear looking thing is the right corner of the iPad. D feature gear icon settings. Okay. The gear looking wheel. Okay. <clears throat> when is the 737 800 coming out? We, when is the 737 800 coming out? Angry. Uh, Angry Yarn, brilliant name by the way, Angry Yarn. Uh, we don't know yet, but the the DC from uh, um, from PMDG is coming out this month, I think. Is it June? I think it is. I I saw it there this morning. Throttle settings to tense. Calibrate. Oh. Aha. Okay. Because I've got to actually calibrate my physical flight sim controls for this brilliant exit. Well, actually, that's fantastic. Thank you very much for that. I'll have to do that on my own rather than boring you. But thank you so much for that. That's another thing I've learned. You know, pick them up, one, th two or three things every time you fly, and you'll have it all, and then you'll be following the checklist, won't you? Or won't I? Yes. Uh, so that's brilliant. So I'll have to do that. Also, uh, I'm trying my best to get the Airbus actual throttle quadrant. It comes in two parts. I can get one part, but I can't get the other. I want it all together. So that will not be a problem, hopefully, for me then later on. Because I'd like to have a webcam pointing down at all my gear I have. I have a seat here. I've got all of SciTech laid around me. And I've got a TQ6. I've got a Thrustmaster. I've got a Yoko V yoke, I've got a Thrustmaster between my legs, I've got those really cool uh, MFG rudder pedals, uh, and I want to get the Airbus uh, throttle quadrant. But you can't get anything. Um, any electronics, ooh, that looks very, very, uh, you know, a little bit dark. Uh, but I want to get the Airbus quadrant uh, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, let's think calibrate. The D66 is coming out in June. Yes, it is June. So the DC6. So I'm going to have to get to work uh, on the Airbus. You know. That looks stunning. Every time I sit here and look at this, I'm just going... There's a bit of thunder going on. And this is real world weather. Uh, I'm coming from, those of you who have just joined and have never seen me before, I'm coming back from when Microsoft was a wireframe flight simulator. It was just w green wireframes in an Apple II back in 80-something, 80 84, 5, 6. Um, and now I'm looking at this, and it's just incredible. I don't think it'll ever wear off. Um... It's absolutely stunning. Oh, here's Johnny F. <laughs> Johnny F73, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, excellent, Johnny F. Always good to have you. I clean it up there so we get a nice little view. 
Johnny F is great at flying alongside. He's in the Neo there as well. How cool is that? That is pretty cool. Uh, I love the eye candy on Flight Simulator. Uh, there we go. That looks absolutely stunning. Howdy, howdy, Dragon 40, it says. Greetings and salutations. So, what's next? Uh, okay, so it's kind of dark. So, the weather. Right. I want to print out the weather. I can't remember. So, to print out the weather. Uh, for JFK. I think Dragon 40th helped me that time. Or was it Deep Future? I think it was Deep Future. Uh, possible ice. Uh, it'd be nice to have an oral warning for that, wouldn't it? Uh, but yes, you're absolutely right. I'd be thinking about icing about now. And I did not put the icing on. Is there a, Do I have that co-pilot guy on here? No, I don't. Well, it's on now. I didn't put it on. It must have been set up for me on the runway. But the pedo wasn't on. Ah, uh, future uh, AOC. Okay, let's do this. Uh, MCDU. MCDU. AOC. Let me write this down. Because I'm going to have to write a list of stuff. Because I forgot this last time. Uh, MCDU. A O C A O C W X request quest right uh, A O C uh, I'm just trying to figure out what you mean by A O C there deep feature A O C A O C No, A-T-S-U. That's okay. A-T-S-U. 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 Brilliant. Brilliant. Uh, A-T-S-U. A-O-C. Weather request. Uh, JFK, please. I didn't send it. I think this is brilliant, isn't it? This is so... This is so... Sent. I'm just going to print out now. Send. Send it! You know Gripper is studying out when he pulls out the notebook. Indeed. Why is it printing? Have you run out of printer paper? Wait for company message. Ah, okay. Very realistic. Uh, very interesting. Uh, on the button to the right for send. Yeah, this one here, I pressed it. Oh, I didn't wait, did I? Maybe I cancelled it then. On the bottom right for sound. Yep. Have it. Received message next. Received message next. Go to messages and there you can print. Oh, I see. Okay, so it sent it uh, to the flight management computer, okay? So now I have to go to received message. It must be very frustrating for you to watch this. Go to messages and then you can print. So where, where's the messages? Is it, is it one of these buttons here? Message, 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 message. No, 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 no. Back to AOC menu perhaps? There you go. Thank you, Deep Future. Received messages. Received messages. Met art. There's the ones I printed out. Oh, okay, watch this. Over here. All right. <laughs> uh, print! Look at that. 
that is seriously cool. <laughs> That's really cool. And that is seriously cool. Be quiet, Siri. You're not involved in this. That's my phone going off. <laughs> that is seriously cool. Uh, and then when I hit that, it goes up here. Brilliant. So, uh, I want uh, the QNH uh, auto weather uh, 230 at 4 knots. The wind is an issue, varying 160 to 260. Uh, clear. 19, 19. So, QNH is. Where's that? Okay. Not that I don't give you the Q. Oh, it's the Q and H. Why can't I see the Q and H? This is an American one, isn't it? C Y T Z. No, that's Toronto. I don't want Toronto. Okay. Um, repetition penetrates the dullest of minds. <laughs> uh, we want to go back to. Jesus, how many miles out of my lads? 150 nautical miles. I better hurry up. Because we're getting there thick and fast. I heard another beep. David F. has subscribed. David F., welcome. Uh, welcome to the, to, to the uh, stream. Uh, we've had a whole load of people uh, subscribing. Uh, I just want to put you all up here. Thank you so much. Um, 31 minutes ago, got him on for half an hour. So we have... Netmitch, I'm just going to make them up in my head. Because <laughs> Oisk, as always, uh, two bits. MS Official has uh, raided you with a party of 343. Well, that's cool. That's very nice of Microsoft Official. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm chuffed with that, actually. That's, kind of, that's quite an honour, really, to know, isn't it? Thank you so much, guys. That's really cool. Wow. Um, they raided me 300. Uh, there was 400 people on at one point. I didn't know where to look. I got all edgy and nervous. And I nearly crashed. I did. Uh, uh, Foul the Fury has followed. I hate that word soon. Uh, news Fan. Uh, Flying Fable. Uh, Drenarian, I think it is. At the, the Endel. Citizen Six. Spiffy. Uh, Carbun Carbuncle 1969. Uh, Deerpex. Flying with Arnold, brilliant. Mr. 90. Uh, Nuno, 7478F. Bobby Bolo. Uh, sorry, Joey Bolo. Nara Flux. Uh, Ent Entrenage 40, I think. Uh, Odin, <laughs> is that someone from the Nordic countries? At uh, the Saint. Gordy, Extra Bravo. Uh, Odin again, Odin 0068. Inzin, Bell Bro, Copper Sands, uh, ne uh, Neo, Neo, great movie, The Matrix, Spas, uh, Album, uh, unbo oh, it's Unboxing, Aaron, David F, May Keynes, and Son Soink, Soink, Sonoink has subbed. So thank you all very much. Uh, that is so cool. Uh, that was really very cool. So, where was I? What was I doing? Uh, let's have a look at the flight plan here. Uh, now, what else do I have to do just to get the bare bones? Performance, activate approach phase. I don't think just yet. Uh, I don't think just yet. We're 132 miles. Uh, I said we'd start descending at 70 nautical miles out. I'm not that high. Uh, if anyone has any suggestions, uh, it's the A. Oh, right. Thank you very much. That's Bugfrog85. I was looking here and I couldn't see the Q and H. And in America, it's quite different because I knew they, they use inches of mercury. And it's A2988, right? So 2988. And in here, I'd have 2988. Uh, Oh, 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 there we go. And I can get it to hectopascals. So it's 1012 happy days. So now I know I've set that a bit too early, but I can put it to standard. And then when I pass through 10,000 feet again, 
I can put it on the Q and H by pulling it the other way, I hope. Yes, there we go. So happy days. I'm going to leave the standby on uh, the Q and H of... Uh, I leave the standby on... I'll do the standby as well to have it. 1012. One, zero, oh, can I? Yes, I can. No, the other way. 1012. There we go. Excellent. So that's that out of the way. Uh, let's have a look at the... Uh, where we are. Oh, we got a bit to go. We're good. We're good. Uh, what else do I have to do? Let's get ready for... Okay, that's the weather. Temperature. Uh, the temperature is going to go into performance. Uh, I also, two minutes ago, Zonk, as I said, Irish Aviator swallowed as well just there. Thank you very much, Irish Aviator. Um, it's a joy to stream. Um, I am planning to have my YouTube videos back again. I'm coming up with a plan. And it's going to be a bit more than what I used to do, if you know what I mean. A little bit more effort, a little bit more time on my part uh, would be welcome, I think, to really jam it up. To jam it up there. So, where was I? Performance. I'm always looking to... Um, You've hit the big time now, Griffey says, Joey Mac. Yes, I couldn't believe it, Joey Mac, uh, when Microsoft raided me there. I want to raid someone now. How do you raid somebody? Uh, I'm going to have to figure that out, how to raid someone, because I want, I talked about doing it a while ago. Uh, we get someone, some, you know, some kid who's reasonably, you know, uh, interested, and we'll raid him one day when I figure out how to do it. Because you know, I think that's just so cool. I really do. Uh, right now. Uh, okay, that's all done. Is it going to mess us up now and everyone's watching? <laughs> oh, God. I want to put in the temperature. I've forgotten everything. <laughs> okay. I'm just kind of floating around here. Kind of. Oh, yes, here we go. Next phase. Okay, next phase. Okay. And arrive at QH. There we go. That's what I want. Q and H, as I said, is 1012, wasn't it? 1012. Plan. And the temperature at JFK is. Temperature, 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 temperature. Yeah, it's different in America. I have to admit to you. You know, I see the scattered 4,000 feet. Uh, 130 broken, 25, uh, 22, 19. The temperature's 22 Celsius, or is that far? Hmm. And there's the Q and H there. 22 degrees, really? Okay, it's kind of like that here as well. The wind is da, 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 1807 knots. 180. Slash zero seven knots. There we go. Uh, I think that now that is all I've been doing so far, right? Um, that is all I've been doing so far. So how many miles are we out now? Well, see. Let's see here. One hundred and two. So we're good to go. We're good. Uh, 22, 22. Go to performance. Bug frog says, brilliant. Uh, so excellent. Descent. Um, FCU altitude set and push. FCU altitude set and push. Well, I'm not descending quite yet. Um, seat bell sign. The seat belt sign, my favourite button of all. Uh, belt sign, please, ladies and gentlemen. Does it say anything? I put the no smoking signs on. Go on, on you get. Oh, no, not off. On. Damn it. Jeez, Louise. Okay, they can smoke if they want. Uh, anti ice. Okay, anti ice. We're kind of okay. Mm, we're going to go through clouds, so. Uh, I'd leave it 
I leave it. I turn it off. See what happens. <laughs> See what happens, you know. Uh, they've improved the icing as well in the latest update, which is great. Uh, Baromatic reference, great, we've done that. Uh, when ordered the 10,000 landing light on, and I didn't switch them off. Happy days. Standard approach. Uh, reintroduce constraints. Okay, I don't know what constraints are. Confirm ILS. We've done that. Uh, I think just getting ahead of everything. Localizer fine. 10 miles laps one. Go around altitude set. Oh, all this kind of stuff I have to look up to. So when flaps, when flaps are two, right? Uh, when I put the flap set to two, I've got around the flap schedule as well. Uh, and I haven't set all the speeds for the flaps in the FMC, etc, etc. Uh, so we fly like we stole it pretty much for the rest of it. So that's on the ILS approach. Great. Or in our procedure. Uh, uh, the kind of more or less kind of the same kind of thing. Five mile uh, intercept leg, base leg, flaps one, five nautical mile. Okay, fine. So everything's there pretty much. This is the kind of stuff, right? Oh, oh, I messed with the throttle. I kind of leaned on it. <laughs> um, when you're flying out of my hometown uh, and I missed it. Oh, damn. You know what? I need some more eye candy here. I need some more eye candy. Look at that. That is very different weather to when we took off. And there's Johnny F. And we got Copper Hat as well. Uh, I'm on the North European server, folks. Always. Uh, North European server. On Sundays, 9 o'clock Irish time or 2100 hours if you want to sound fancy. Uh, religiously, myself and Colonel Clink, uh, uh, we, we, we get into trouble. Uh, I try to get into trouble. Or should I say, I take it very lax. I take flying very, I don't check the fuel, you know. Uh, I get myself into trouble in bad weather or wherever I can and something mad always happens. And I learn from that, believe it or not, for real life flying. Uh, like, if I were to go flying in Papua New Guinea now, you want to be careful. I mean, it's it's so dangerous flying low in between the hills could get caught into a death valley. The valley rises, there's hills on either side, there's hills in front, you can't turn around, there's nothing you can do and it's all over. It's amazingly educational from that point of view. Uh, and it, it is very dangerous flying in Papua New Guinea. That's stunning, folks. Um, a few seconds ago, Hapsi Exo has subscribed. I can't pronounce that. And I tell you why. Uh, I would what I would normally do is I would cut and paste that text. Okay. Uh, and I would find out how to pronounce your name. <laughs> but thank you very much for subscribing. Uh, I'm delighted. So we're coming into land. We're kind of... We're getting there. We're getting very close. There's a little bit of thunder. This is real world weather. And it's looking good so far. I've got all my stuff set up. We are now uh, 77 miles out. So I said 70, didn't we? Deep Future? Yes, we did. Or was it, I keep getting mixed up between Deep Future and um, damn. Uh, where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Anyway, uh, deep feature always sells me out. So I could pick on the train radar now if I want to, do, I suppose. Well, that changed a lot there. What's going on there? Okay, that's fine. Uh, weather radar, I should really have on, shouldn't I? The weather radar is... Is it here? No? Now, they've also improved the weather radar, okay? Uh, to include the rain as well. 61, yeah. So, let's... Uh, 
yeah, more accurately D feature says he says 17 multiplied by 3 plus 10 is 61. And you're absolutely right, I just rendered it off. I said, ah, 70. That's 9 miles, but you're absolutely right. I'm just being inaccurate. Um, there's a lot of stuff here I'd like to learn. We've got the pressure, electrics, hydraulics, fuel. <laughs> it's very straightforward in the Airbus. Which is pretty cool. I like it. Uh, and we're going to start descending uh, shortly. I suppose we'll start to descend at 500 feet a minute, shall I? Uh, let's do that. Uh, so we're going to come down. I just like to practice on the old... Uh, when I when I get live um, with ATC, uh, I would like to be able to talk to them as well. But you have got to be fluent to this first, don't you? So we're going to send 500 feet a minute, uh, and then I push. No, I pull to activate that because that's under my control. And there we go, 500 feet a minute, and I slow descent. Now with those calculations, deep feature, right? Is it 500 feet a minute? Usually a standard descent is 500 feet a minute. So, I don't know, the Airbus is it's going to be more, isn't it? No? That with open descent. Click the left hand switch to the left under the dial. Johnny F73 says, I would imagine that was me talking about the radar. Click the left hand switch to the left under the dial. This one. Or well, this one. To one or two. Oh, it's a clean descent, okay. So that means that was idle. Is this jet stuff? Jet talk. Open descent is a clean descent, throttles idle. D future, are you an Airbus pilot by any chance in real world? You know an awful lot about it, which is great. Roughly a three degrees glide. Thank you, Nano Guide. That brings me back. Three degrees. Yeah, that's that certainly brings me back. Um, just set the altitude, and it will descend to three degrees. Okay. Yes, of course. I don't need to, you know. So I can put this back, and I can say descend to nine thousand feet, please. And that will do it for me. The Airbus will do it for me. Now it's calculating it for a three degrees slight slope. Nano guy, Nano N, N guy says that will be very slow for an Airbus 2820. Yes, I agree with you. Now I've learned another thing um, that you you just set it. You know, don't set it yourself. I suppose if 80s, they're not going to ask you to send it at a certain rate, are they? But just set your altitude, you know, uh, and then it will actually calculate the light slope for you. So there we go. Now I'm probably gone a little bit early. We're 77 miles out, so don't worry. We level off at 9,000 feet. I'll just say, ah, uh, maybe ATC, ATC told me to. That's my excuse. So great. That's absolutely stunningly brilliant. <laughs> Uh, there's some other folks. Uh, do I recognize any of them? Uh, Echo Bravo Bravo Sierra Yankee. I recognize. There's Johnny F. Stanley's there. Uh, El Badi. That's someone else behind Echo Bravo Bravo Sierra Yankee. Uh, here is Copper Hash, folks. Ooh, what's Copper Fluff Fly? I'm getting a uh, an escort. Oh, what the deuce? I'm nowhere near. I'm being intercepted. I'm nowhere near Belarus. What the hell are they doing over America? <laughs> the Belarusians. Intercepting people. You know. Um, BS mode is commonly referred to as very stupid mode by Airbus pilots. Oh, really? Interesting. Uh, because... Okay, why is that though? Is it because they've messed up? Look at Copper Hat there. Look at him go. I love those aircraft. I can't, I can't remember the name of them. 
I can even hear the sound of it quite well. That's really quite good. Uh, now, uh, it's quite a long, long approach. No? What do you like more, Airbus or Boeing? Uh, Angry Yarn says. Um, at the moment, I don't know enough about both of them to say that, right? But at the moment, I would say it's Airbus because I learned the Boeing as much as you can. And I say, in fact, I could have learned a lot more. But I could get from A to B and do some checklists and I could get along with it, start it up, you know, the whole works. And I was getting very, I was getting more and more fluent with it. Uh, I like the, the sounds of the trim wheel, the little things like that. Uh, you know, but I do now that the Airbus is done proper in Microsoft Flight Simulator. At the minute, it's the Airbus. You know, it'll change. But the Airbus for sure. Because, in all fairness, Microsoft have done a great job. And n not only that, right? But they've also gone and said, these guys fly by wire doing a great job. Let's get them on board and go with it, do you know? Whereas previously, third party developers would be kind of ignored by other flight simulators. Uh, actually, I heard, I won't mention any names, but there's another flight sim, and said, we don't care about third parties, you know, they can look after themselves. Um, but Microsoft really, they've gone, come on board, we put it on the store, we'll help you out, uh, you know, with the community, and they've done, this is the first time ever, I think, do you know, that something like this has happened between the developer and the community. You know, i.e. a Sobo and Microsoft. Uh, I think it's great. Uh, and I think flight simming is going to be a big thing. Especially when it comes out in Xbox. And especially uh, when uh, when uh, when Top Gun, the Top Gun movie comes out. You know? Uh, I know it sounds silly, but this is what happens. Now, I should start my descent again. So, uh, I'm going to guess here. I'm going to guess that the base altitude is 3,000 feet. But I'm going to come down there anyway just for the moment because I'm going to be a bit late. There we go. Please start descending. Come on. Come on. There we go. Uh, let's get another graph up here. Uh, we are... Uh, if 2,000 feet is what we want so 2,000 feet it is that's what you're going to get oh thunder thunder and lightning's happening so we're coming down to 2,000 feet uh, we've got two turns to do before we start getting on the ILS we are now uh, 77 miles out well we have been kind of going parallel so it might be a little bit early I love the thunder I love the thunder. So, uh, let's have a read some of the comments. I just thought I'd read it first. Do you know, they could be saying anything. And I just read it out. <laughs> so I could, I could, could read it first. <laughs> yeah, okay, so... Uh, sp Spiffle says, Fully agree, Gripper Sim. Just look at the casual and friendly community involvement and the empowerment they do. The game is constantly evolving from player feedback as well. Microsoft and Sobo are doing a great job so far. They really are. I mean, I've never seen anything like it. Because usually they develop something, you get these third people add, putting add-ons and they develop the main game or they never acknowledge it or say, here, they're doing a great job. Can we put it in the sim, you know? Uh, and this is, someone in Microsoft is very clever because they've thought this out uh, and they've made it a community a more so than any any game or anything I've ever seen uh, more of a community uh, thing than ever before they've got the developers spend time and, and stream about their updates the three guys um, it was four sorry uh, including the, that girl what's her name anyway uh, and, and they're always on talking what's coming up next then they have their streams like I was raided 
for those of you who've just joined us. I had 400 people on. I didn't know where to look. <laughs> uh, so that was great. Uh, I want to rate somebody one day. i find out how to do that. But they've done a great job. And they listen to everybody. You know, they have a top 10 of what people want. They do the numbers. And, uh, you know, it's continuously improving. And I think that this sim, at least for me, since I was a child, I always had a simulator in the house, some sort, on a computer little joystick. And I've always had it. Um, since I was, I don't know, eight, maybe seven or eight. Uh, and you, then you realize, look, you know, you get into it and you stop for a month or two or a couple of months, maybe even a year. OK, but then you get back into it. It's all updated and it's great. And you get your joysticks out of your drawers if you haven't sold them. You set it all up again uh, and then you put it away and you get back into it and so forth. So I have a, a get up here where it's a chair. Uh, I've got a whole seating with all my stuff around me and it just stays in the corner of the room uh, and it's it's a hobby Do you know it's a hobby it really is um, some people don't like calling it a game it could be a game if you want it to be uh, and it can be a flight sim if you want it to be but it is a flight simulator and a hobby Do you know there's Johnny F73 there uh, there's Echo Bravo Bravo Sierra Yankee 2 off in the distance Let's see who else is here. Sometimes, guys, I come out here and uh, the, th the thunder flies when they they just appear. Uh, I was streaming one, uh, was it last week or the week before during the week of my surprise stream? Wow. Uh, that they were all in, they were all in uh, V-shape around me. I was like, what? <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, there's Copper Hat there behind. Oh, geez, I better keep an eye on what I'm doing. Jesus. Am I too high? Am I too low? Am I descending? 4,000. Uh, 800 feet. Oh God, I'm going to be down, folks. Let me have a look here. Now I think I know what you mean by stupid mode. Uh, oh, okay, yes, now I know what you mean by stupid mode. I need to send very, very quickly to 2,000 feet. Going to stupid mode, folks. Uh, panic, panic. Uh, manual descent. Uh, shit loads of feet per minute because I'm not going to capture otherwise. Uh, and, and go. No, that's not what I wanted. I want to send faster. I'm going to miss it and I'm going to embarrass myself and haven't planned to go around yet. 4,100 feet a minute will do. Come on, get down there. Get down. Scaring the passengers, uh, especially the ones at the back. Oh, the weather radar was working nicely. Now we're coming down quite fast. And we're accelerating quite fast. Uh, arming the old spoiler -y poos. Uh, getting the old brakes on. Auto brakes, they don't have a max yet, or is it just the way it is? Uh, landing gear to come, uh, I'd probably be needing the brake fan. We're coming into some weather. Now we're at 2,000 feet, ziggity split. Uh, that's not how it's done in real life, I'm pretty sure. Now, what do I gotta do? I have to arm. Uh, I have to arm. Approach mode, don't I? Oh, it's gone. It, it usually says, Activate approach mode. Uh, let's get the ILS active. One 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 three five. And where where's Navograph gone? There you go. Uh, Navograph. Oh, it's closed. It's brilliant. I don't remember doing that. JFK and I love you. Please, thank you very much. And we're going. Was it two six? Approach, please. Thank you. Is that the same? No, no, no. That's a different runway. So I better make sure what runway I'm coming down on. Uh, I better make sure. Approach button is on the FCU. Okay, I think I may have messed this up. FCU, approach button. FCU, it's usually here in the FMC. Oh, FCU is a different name. I'm thinking of an Airbus. Uh, you would only active approach mode if you wanted to reduce your speed to S speed. Otherwise, it will auto activate. Okay. It's a lot of stuff study here, I gotta know, because it's so automated. Oh, look at that. It's so well automated. I've got one turn to do. Let's get to a bit more of a... Oh, 
the deuce. Okay, we're starting our final turn. We're at our altitude. Uh, can I lower flaps? Yes, I can. First flaps bump to one. At stage one. And I didn't turn on my landing lights. This is the kind of thing that... Not that, not that it makes a difference. Uh, not that it's going to make a difference to the flight, but look, let's keep... Sh the stove should be on! Uh, we're turning now. Uh, now I need to just keep an eye on the capture. And all then I do, folks... Is... Let's get the lock on. And all I hit is approach mode. It's a little bit more to that, as I recall, in the 737. That is... Uh, who's just subscribed there? Jan... Jean Daniel. Uh, has just subscribed. John, Daniel, thank you very much. <laughs> uh, I'm delighted to see you. Uh, also, I've... Uh, yeah, there's quite a few. <laughs> this time. Uh, d d you know, just to remind you guys who's just come on. Uh, I do... At the minute, I'm doing surprise streams during the week. And I'm trying to learn the Airbus. Bit by bit. And, of course, I didn't... Uh, yeah, that was not very... See, that's what else you don't read your checklist. Q and H was on standard. Um, so, okay, I'm good. I'm good. Get your finger on that approach mode button. Um, so then on Sundays, uh, religiously at 2100 hours, which is nine o'clock in the evening Irish time, I stream with Colonel Clink. Colonel Clink's also a real pilot. Uh, he is actually you know, an aircraft owner as well. So here we go. Uh, here comes the glide slope so when that's within that half dot I'm going to activate approach mode uh, and then we're good to go this is real world weather there we go half down approach mode activated uh, apparently I can put autopilot 2 I just press autopilot 2 for auto land but it has to be cat 3 run, uh, runway doesn't it I'll try it so now I want to watch it descend, and we're going to have some eye candy look outside. And I always thought to lower the gear at this point, so gear's coming down. And I lowered another stage of flaps. So we're flap two now, we're going to start slowing down. It's looking... It's looking nice, folks. It's looking... Look at the wing wobble. That... Let me keep it still. Look at the... Look at the wing wobble. That is just stunning. that it's a joy once you kind of know a little bit you know it becomes fun so those of you who are watching this and you don't have a clue about how to fly the big jets two things every day you know learn a couple of things every day i know you forget it after a while you come back to it next week but it'll be easier to remember the next time it's just stunning and it's great fun you know it's a great hobby really is here there's a nice runway in front of me i'm at home i'm home now when i see the runway uh, that's the easiest part is landing. And of course I haven't done my checklist descent. I don't think I was going to do that. And it checks is 30 feet touchdown. Uh, okay, yeah, it's all that kind of stuff. Okay. When you put the reverse thrusters on? I should be looking out the window. <laughs> Shouldn't I? It's a real cool livery, I agree with you. Let's have a look at that again. That is pretty damn cool. Uh, actually, that picture I had there was that's the nicest. We are coming into JFK, folks. We is coming into JFK. Cabin check. Yeah, I did none of that. Of course, the last set of flats. You're supposed to always land before flats, aren't you guys? A bit late. You know. Uh, a little bit late. Uh, okay, one more stage. Fine, there's full flaps. Uh, let's see if the auto land works. I didn't... Is this guy three in one way? No. I'm ready though. <laughs> I'm ready to do stuff. Cabin check, cross check, all that kind of stuff. 300, 300 feet. I love the sound of the enunciations. Absolutely stunning. Will it auto land? With deep feature, I have two autopilots on, so let's see if it flares, right? So I have what I think is auto land on. 
100 feet. I'm not touching anything. It's flaring. It's flaring. <laughs> it's very nerve wracking. Beautiful landing. There we go. Now our hands are on stick. Throttle back. Uh, there's a reverse. There's a reverse. Brakes are on now. Reverse is off. And that was Auto Land, because it's a Cat 3 runway. Am I right? Wow. Uh, now, oh, there's something I installed, folks. Uh, that it, oh my god, I stopped the next exit. That was embarrassing. Uh, that was embarrassing. So flaps are coming up. Flaps are coming up all the way. And uh, I want to turn the transponder off. See, the problem is here now. If I... No, see, I can't, I can't taxi and turn switch off unless I can reach it. Do you know what I mean? Well, I can. I have the side tech, of course. Uh, nav lights, strobe off, taxi off, taxi on. Great. Uh, I think I can remember that's everything really done there. Uh, are the flaps up? Yes, the flaps are up. And now I've got a taxi to a gate. Uh, yes. Let's do it right till the end. So let's come out here. And let's just quickly fly around and see where I can... I'm going to park anywhere. Uh, oh, I missed the main part. Look at that. That is really... Uh, is it actually stormy in JFK? Where's all the gates? Um, oh. It's miles away. It's absolutely miles away. But I'll tell you what we'll do, okay? Uh, oh yes, I've just broken some lights and the company's on to me giving out because uh, I'm gonna come to a halt here. Johnny F73, uh, Johnny F73 says, that was awesome. We've landed at the exact same time on adjacent runways. You passed right in front of me. Oh wow, damn it, I missed that. I didn't see you. Deadly. I like it. Uh, I'm going to cheat a bit here, guys, because I don't know. You know I have to be honest with you, right? Uh, I know a lot of people who fly uh, the... There's one or two with the Airbus, and there's quite a few on the 737. And I always ask them, how, I always ask them when they first start, how do you find your way around these big runways? And they go, well, yeah, I haven't got a clue when they're, tra when they're on the line, and they just start. And um, this is when their work starts. It's, it's like a cheat. Uh, let's go to ground. Let's request taxi to gates. Now, let's try and follow this. This is where, you know, Griffith Sim 1123, taxi to gate, gate F322 via. Taxi, oh my god. Via Papa Bravo Quebec November Bravo November Charlie Alpha Sierra. Did you copy that? Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I know all that. I know all those taxiways. Do you see? I wouldn't have a clue. So I'm going to cheat a bit, right? I think this is how you're gonna learn this, guys, right? To read the taxi signs, right? So I've written it down. Just let me write a box around it. Okay. Oh, shoot. I'm just writing a box up here. Let me write that down again, because my, look at that. Shocking. It's just, it's like a spider's, a spider fell into an inkwell and it's just run all over the page. So this is, this is, uh, okay, so gate, gate, Foxtrot 322 via Papa Bravo, Quebec, November, Bravo, November, Charlie, Alpha, Sierra. I've watched other streamers do this, and they seem very, they seem absolutely uh, au fait, and of course I'm cheating, aren't I? So. They seem absolutely au fait and it's no problem for them. 
uh, and I'm just going, how do you, I'm just going to put on the taxi ribbon. Yep. Uh, and how you figure it out, right, that's what I'm going to do. Add a bit of power. <laughs> or just park there on the left. Yeah, you want to do all the gates and stuff, don't you? You know, uh, I can kind of chat as I'm coming down here. So, uh, Papa Bravo. So, how do I know Papa Bravo? There's Papa Bravo, right? Uh, you probably didn't see that because I really went right through it. So, uh, okay, we're just going to have to go through this guy. Papa Bravo, Quebec. Okay, this is, okay, there's Quebec, right? There's Quebec and there's Quebec 5. So, we're on Quebec 5. Where's he going? Oh, that's Johnny F. Hi, Johnny F. <laughs> I thought that was a. Uh, I thought that was just uh, um, AI traffic. <laughs> it's Johnny F seventy three. So, uh, so effectively, how you learn it is you can see you see the one with the yellow and black. That's what you're on, right? So going to Quebec. The next one is November. So. This is a great way to read the, to get to know the taxiways, and it's international, isn't it? So there's Papa Alpha. Oh, oh, Papa Alpha. No, we're not going to Papa Alpha. We're going to November next. So keep going down. Uh, and if you if you look on, if you look, um, sorry, if you look on YouTube, uh, you ever hear the funny ATC? Uh, pilots being given out by ATC they get lost and they take wrong turns there's loads of airplanes behind them uh, and you cause a massive tra traffic jam or you, you could do and then aircraft have to go around all the companies going around all the fuel they'll burn look at the detail folks it's just you know look at that it's just absolutely I'm going very fast here Oh, what does that say? <laughs> I can't reverse. Now, I missed that sign. Uh, I missed that sign, and I'm sad about that. Oh, here's one here. Uh, Mike Bravo. Okay, I'm just going to follow it. This happened to be last time. It kind of brought me to a different gate. Do you know? Uh, but let's see where it's bringing me. And if it does bring me... Uh, oh, I'm accelerating very fast. That's November now. I'm on November. You see that? Yeah, that's... That's November. So I'm on November there. Okay, so we're going the right way. That's the one. N. November. So, you know, uh, I didn't want to... I'd rather not get lost in the taxiways when I'm, you know, when I'm streaming. But you get used to it very quickly. Uh, November, Bravo's next. How do we know when Bravo... There's Bravo there. So follow... Okay, we're on Bravo now all of a sudden. How do you know? You know? No wonder Harrison Ford's landing on a taxiway. How do you tell the difference? <laughs> oh, poor old Harrison Ford. Uh, he's not the first one to do that and he won't be the last. It's just that he's famous and they, and they you know... They got them. They love bashing their, bashing their celebrities, don't they? All over the world. I'm going like a loon. This is not Formula One uh, simulator. Um, I, broke, I broke quite a few lights. So, yeah, I'm delighted. Thank you very much, Microsoft, for... Uh, tell them. I said thank you very much. If I'm not still on, I don't know. Uh, if I'm still being raided. But, you know, thank you very much. It's quite, uh, quite an honour, really, isn't it? Um... You know, I've had my, my editing difficulties. It's more me than anything else. Uh, I have found some other editing tools for YouTube. But I, here's my plan, right? Uh, here's my plan, because I, I had a, a rage, not a rage video, but a, a grumpy, a grumpy video there, uh, was, which was my last YouTube video. Because I, I, it takes two and a half days to do all the workarounds to get the, to get the editing done that I want to do. Uh, and it just took too long and I had no time and I was getting a bit frustrated because things don't it's you know it's a work in progress so I said I'll wait until you know things improve a bit but I've got some workarounds now 
and I've decided to do the following, right? I've decided, where's the guy with the sticks? Oh, there he is, there's my friend with the sticks. There he is. All right, mate. I never get this right. But um, I've decided to do, I'd like to do two videos during the week, okay? Um, and stream during the week. Uh, am I? Is he saying going right here? I don't know. It just doesn't seem. I crash into this thing if I. There we go. Okay, we're doing good. We're doing good. What's oh, it's? She's good looking, isn't she? Isn't that girl? Yeah. <laughs> and stop. Now did I run over? If I feel like I hit something. Uh, I feel like I hit something. Did I hit something. Did I? Did I hit something? That now, guys, is quite complicated. Uh, now, considering I'm on 2080 Ti, this is smooth as ice. It's smooth and buttery, folks. I don't know if you can see what I'm seeing, how, how smooth it is. But that is just one of the most complicated airports you can get. And it's running smooth as ice. It didn't jutter once, do you know? Uh, it, just, it just keeps blowing my mind. So anyway, the, my plan is to start at some point... Um, giving it loads on YouTube, like loads, uh, and, and, and Twitter, and on Microsoft Flight Simulator only, okay? So uh, what I'm warming up to here now is, I don't know how the gate's gonna fit there, to be honest with you, but um, yeah, and I'm thinking, I'm thinking September 1st is the day, I'll have a couple of videos, you know, built up as a backup, because what I've been doing is every Friday, I have to get it done by Friday, oh my God, uh, so if I have three or four videos made that are interesting and fun, if I get stuck, I can produce one of those, kick one of those out, you know, uh, and just continue streaming. And it's going to be great. There's going to be lots of stuff going on. That's where I am at the minute. That's where I am at. Right, ATC, let's get the doors. Uh, da, 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 da. Ground services, please. Uh, we would like the jetway connection, please. Let's watch that. Yeah, the guy with the sticks. The guy with the sticks did, didn't really, you know. He he made it. He, he he did a bad job. Okay, the guy with the sticks. So you know, let's fix that, shall we? And it's kind of my fault. Oh, I'm gonna reverse here. I'm gonna reverse. Breaks off. Breaks off. There we go. Uh, yeah, I stuffed that up. I listened to the guy in the sticks, the girl in the sticks, should I say. Is that be enough? <laughs> there we go. Is it going to fix it? Come on. Now, I wonder... I wonder, uh, I wonder, if you do that in real life, how do you, how do you get out of that? You get the tug? You get the tug? Now it's going to work. So don't listen to the guy with the sticks. Did I not go back far enough? I was on his foot, the feature says. I was on his foot. Uh, rev up. Revlop 1965 is followed. And Fado, thank you very much as well. Fado 73. Uh, Jan Daniel, also subscribed on YouTube. Thank you very much. Uh, Irish Aviator, we saw Irish Aviator. Brilliant. So I didn't go back enough. See, have I got some sort of... I blame myself. No. Put mix on or off? Off. There we go. Um. That'll do. That'll do. I can break back on. And let's try that one more time. Oh, oh good for sim. Good for sim. Good for sim. Good for sim. Good for sim.
Yay! Hurrah! Huzzah! <laughs> Huzzah! Oh, I missed the, the ultimate. There we go. There we go. Happy days. And let's get some trucks. Uh, let's shut down the aircraft first. Let's get the checklist. Uh, I, I'd be quick here. I'm wondering will I do some light light aircraft flying? Uh, would you like seeing this 82 people on? Uh, would you like me to do some uh, circuits on a light aircraft of your choice? Just tell me what it is you want, uh, and and I'll do some circuits. Or have I been going on too long? Only an hour and a half I've been going for. So maybe we'll do something. Um, maybe we'll do something that I I'm educated in in the real aircraft. Maybe something in the 152, 172. You know. Uh, shut down checklist. After landing, shut down. Okay, that's very straightforward, actually. Uh, this is a very simple checklist, I think. Anti ice off. So, parking brake on, anti ice off. Anti ice is off. Uh, if APU available, APU bleed on. No, we're not using the APU. Uh, I c I c I'm sure I could have switched that on. I should have, but we won't because we're shutting down now, aren't we? Uh, engine master one or two off. Okie doke. Uh, very simple switches. That's on the thrust map, the thr throttle I want to get. Let's see them shut down. Happy days. Uh, it's power, power. Beacon light off because we shut down the engines. Beacon light comes off. Uh, if the beacon light is on, don't go near the aircraft. Don't go near the engines. The beacon light here is, you see, I don't know. You see, there we go. Beacon light is off, nose light is off, and there, see, uh, yeah, I gotta do it this way because um, it's nice for your eyes to go, your eyes will go exactly where, and it, it's much easier, do you know? See if that's like, okay, yeah, well, they'll get out then. Great, fuel pumps off, fuel pumps are, where are fuel pumps at? Is it here? Here? Mm-hmm. Did I miss one? No. Okay, I think that's it. Give up ground fix and connect. Da, 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 da. Screwing the aircraft, airless oxygen, uh, exit lights, APU bleed master. That's so everything shut down there pretty much, except for the master battery. Uh yes, I know I'm doing this not exactly the correct way, but that will come. I'm gonna spend a few hours when I get the time, you know, to, to become very fluent with this, in all fairness. There's the master batteries. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, off. There we go. Everything's off and we're there. So, what will I do? Interesting, your flight didn't end when you shut down the engines. Mine goes to logbook. I have passed from Mar Mars not long. Yes, circuits, D Feature says. Uh, will I show you where I fly when I do some instruction? Because uh, I think most of you are new, right? Why not for the laugh? We do some circuits. Uh, yes, I think we will. So, um, I think most of you are new, so I'll, I'll tell you a bit about myself because oh, I have to say, Microsoft, thank you so much uh, for that. That's great. Um, that really is great. I'm just gonna take my, my face off for, for a minute. Uh, just for a minute, so I can show you the, the stuff, right? Uh, no, that's not it, that's not it, that's it. There, I'll be back in a second. Right, so. Um, Circuits in Newcastle. Let's go to the main menu. So I'm on the, if you want to follow, if you want to come and join me, okay. I'm on the North European server and we're going to Newcastle Airfield in Ireland, on the east coast of the country. Uh, the east coast is, uh, it's very nice. Uh, it's just a nice area to be in. So we're going to load up here and uh, I'll tell you what, Colonel Clink. Colonel Clink, uh, he, he does streams with me. This is his version, and you can get this version uh, for Newcastle Airfield in Ireland. Uh, oh, God, it's dark. It's getting dark. Here we go. Newcastle, right? E Echo India November Charlie. Now, I'm just going to chat a little bit, because if some of you want to join me in the North European server, okay? So you can see here, I is on the North European server. Now, the reason I'm on the North European server is because it's quick for me, because I'm streaming and I want the frames per second to be good for you, right? 
Um, so Newcastle, you can download it on frightsome.to. Uh, I am plugging it, uh, and I'm not hiding that fact. It is free. Uh, because Colonel Clink, he's, he's, uh, he was a student of mine, actually. Uh, he's a very good pilot. And if I, I, he's designing uh, the actual Newcastle airfield as we know it, okay? Uh, and I am, I have to be honest with you, I am plugging it a little bit. But that's okay, right? Because, there it is. Because Colonel Clink, he, you know the way in the simulations they just do the runway. And it, 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 this isn't finished. This is an ongoing work, okay? Um, the bumps, there's bumps at the beginning of 3.6. It catches everybody out. There's bumps along the, the corner. There's little bumps, and he's, he's actually simulating all the details on the runway. Like all the bumps on the runway, he's trying to simulate in the flight simulator, which is really impressive. So, uh, that's my plug for current click. Now, uh, and I have that installed. So, uh, I'll actually start on the taxiway here. Uh, and go here. Uh, not only that, but he's he's also it's just any any detail you can think of. And I tell you what's going to happen with Colonel Clink. If this if this if people like this airfield and he does a good job of it, okay, he's going to do more, and I want him to do more because the detail is going to be really impressive. I hope. Well, it's certainly looking that way at the moment. And the SDK that Microsoft have is getting better all the time. It's getting a glass of water here. Uh, it's getting better all the time, you know. Uh, and I think it would be great if, if you know, he's a pilot. Uh, uh, I've been instructed there for years, as well as other places. And uh, I think it's great to have an actual pilot who's based in an airfield to actually design the airfield. Ooh, it's real world weather here, folks. This is 3-6 here. Here, I'll come out here. Oh no, I don't want to be. Oh, right. Brilliant. That's not going to work, is it? Brilliant. Well done, Gripper Sim. Uh, you've stuffed it up and you've to, to come out again. Yeah, that's, that's, that's when everyone drops off. <laughs> that's when everyone goes, oh, this guy. What is this guy on? Yeah, you know, uh, rookie, a rookie mistake there, folks. Uh, we're going to fly a Cessna 150 or maybe a 172. Let's get a 150. Uh, I'll just do a search here. See 150. No. One five two. We'll get the old. We'll just get a standard one here. Great. Uh, I'm going to start here. Fly, fly, fly. So, yeah, it's a lovely airfield. It's right by the sea. Uh, it's, it's a nice area. It's in Wicklow in Ireland and the, and the East Coast. Um, and people love coming down here. And you, people just turn up. They don't know it exists, folks. They don't know that the airfield exists. And there's a walk down to the beach. And they see the gates, which are now all nice and new. And they, they drive in. They go, can we fly? Can we actually go up on one of these? And they go, yeah, yeah. Come on in, get your instructor. And they go flying and they love it. And it's like, wow. Uh, a lot of people think it's it's not as accessible. You know, uh, if you're thinking of maybe getting your private pilot's license, okay, it's, it's uh, easily accessible and you do not have to be a brain surgeon to fly an airplane by any means whatsoever. I know commercial pilots who didn't even finish school no, they didn't go to college and they, they thought they weren't that smart and they were in the end. So this is Newcastle Airfield. Now, some of those buildings at the moment are standard. Uh, and Karen Clink is, is going to be doing those up uh, to make it look like the actual airfield. But all those planes are right. They're all correctly placed. All the parking, all the trees, uh, even the, where the fire brigade is. The van is the same van as they have. Uh, you know, all these things are actually there. Uh, there's actually here, there's a, an aviary uh, for hawks. There's golden eagles there as well. We stole them from America. Uh, yeah, we've got some golden eagles uh, in the airfield. The owner of the airfield likes uh, birds of prey. 
Uh, so it's quite a bizarre place. So Newcastle Airfield, folks. So what I was saying to you here, I'll just speed up my camera. If I'll just move the, I'll just move this thing here. I'll get my face back now in a minute. Uh, this is what I'm talking about, and this is what this is why I'm really plugging it for him, right? Uh, uh, what happens here in three six? Okay, there's there's three humps. And what happens is when you land, you, people if they don't know the airfield, they land at the top of the first hump and they bounce, and they land and hit the second hump and they bounce, and they land at the third and they're all over the shop, and it frightens them. So that's being simulated. He's working on it, uh, but that's what's happening. That's everything's in its, in its right place. So uh, there's no wind, a little bit of wind from the west. So I'll do some circuits for the laugh, uh, and maybe I'll have an engine failure. Maybe I will. Uh, maybe I will. Yes, maybe engine failures because, you know. Oh, good God, there's Bob. Hi, Bob. Yeah, you're coming along and it's not going to be a safe trip for you, Bob. So let's start her up first. The fuel uh, is here uh, and it's off at the minute. Uh, in real, I've been instructing for these for years. So um, the, in America, they train their students to switch off the fuel when they're finished with the flight, okay? They switch the fuel off, uh, I've noticed. I'm sure not every school, but the Americans I've flown with, they always switch the fuel off when they get out of the airplane. We always leave it on, okay? Because what, what'll happen is, because we leave it on, someone will switch it off and people don't check it. But what'll happen is you'll start the engine, you'll taxi and you'll take off to about 50 feet and, the, and you'll burn all the fuel in the fuel line because you'll get a few minutes of fuel out of it uh, and then you'll get an engine failure. So yeah, these are the things you gotta watch out for. It hasn't happened yet, thankfully. There we go, fuel is on. Also, it's the same with every any prop aircraft really. Uh, just think of fuel on. Okay, including the mixture here. Right. What's next? The battery. Fuel, battery, and the magnetos. That's for every twin, for every aircraft with a prop. Now, I'll put on the beacon light here just to keep it keep it real. Uh, and we'll start her up. I love the sound. Is that loud enough for you guys? Can you hear the sound of the the aircraft? Okay. Okay, deep feature. I will take that challenge. I will fly the Airbus in the circuit after this. Uh, we'll crash, but we'll try. Oh, my camera. Hang on, let's get the camera going again. Let's get the camera going here because I said I'd give you some eye candy and I forgot about it. There we go. I'm back. Right, so engine started and we're going to taxi off. Great, great, great. Happy days and uh, other things to check, like the primer is checked and all that kind of stuff. But this is a flight sim, so I'm not overly concerned. Uh, great, let's taxi forward, take the brakes off. Uh, we don't use the brakes in these, uh, actually. Um, they're not reliable in Cessnas. They're not that reliable, um, the parking brake. Can you hear me? That's better. Does that sound better? Okay, uh, so that challenge accepted. These guys uh, are going to get mushed by the prop. Uh, yeah, he'd want to kind of... Oh, yeah, he... he... He got out of the way. I love it. Very smart, Microsoft. Hats off to you. Hats off to you. Um, we need the... Radios on. Very well done even the switch and you can turn up the volume of the radio as well I can see it from here look that is a little detail that I like I'm very used to these radios see here you actually pull it this is another thing that people get mixed up on so the command they can switch on the radio right great the radio's on uh, but that's also the volume and they're taxiing and they're going can anyone hear me radio check no and, they're, and, and people are going back yeah yeah we hear you we hear you uh, but they can't hear you, so they've got to turn up the volume here. Uh, that can be quite amusing. Uh, that can be quite amusing, so that's the volume. Uh, great. So, yeah, this is what I'm used to looking at, folks. You know? Oh, there goes the old jet there. I like it. Uh, I do one circle, we're going to do... We're going to go Airbus crazy. I'm going to take off 3-6. 
Uh, I think Colonel Flink's already updated this. The cones are a bit smaller in real life, but that's okay. It's just the SDK, you can't get smaller ones. Uh, there's Bob. Uh, I'm going to do an engine failure after takeoff and see how I get on. Um, I'm going to see uh, how I get on. There's not much choices off the runway of 3.6. So you can see the bumps. I'm getting a few bumps here. Uh, a lot of the standard airports, you know, see these... It's kind of bumpy around here, you know. Happy days. There's always trucks and cars parked out there. There's a fence there. You have this house here. It's all there. Uh, all these little details. And it's hard work, according... I was just listening to Colonel Clink, and he's going, you know... He spends hours just trying to get a fence done, you know? So right at the beginning of the runway. Always use all the runway, the whole thing. Because you never know when you'll need it. I lower ten flaps. I'll put on the tags there so we can see who's with us. Oh, we've got a few with us. We've got a fair few people with us. Uh, when I do the landing here, uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take off. I'll just do a circuit. Full power. <laughs> Full power. So we have Johnny F73. We have stairway. Is it? Oh, God, I can't see the runway here. Okay, good, good, good. Airspeed's alive. There's some of the bumps. There's Copperhead. And we're off. I like it. Where are the boys? Where's everybody? Uh, Mo Green has followed. Mo, welcome. I'm delighted uh, you followed. Um, I'm delighted you think it's worth your time. Um, I usually stream on Sundays with Colonel Clink. Uh, and I start... I, Sundays now are a thing. They're going to be a thing. They are just a thing. It's not going to stop. But I'm going to stream more. And at the minute, I'm streaming randomly during the week. And I want to have myself a schedule. Okay? Uh, I did say I have an engine failure, didn't I? I did say I'd have an engine failure after takeoff. There goes the engine. Oh, no. That's the wrong one. I'll pull the mixture. There we go. No, the nose. 60 knots. The airspeed is not... Jeez, I'm really stalled there, folks. Uh, 60 knots is the best glide speed. Would I make it back? It's actually 55 knots by the book. So I'll go 55. And this is the danger. I kind of went out a bit far, didn't I? I kind of went out a little bit far. I don't want to hit the beach. Because that is bumpy, right? I don't want to land at the beach. I want to land the field beyond the beach. Just forget this wrong now. They'll all be looking at me in Newcastle. There we go. Now on a hard, a firm landing. Breaky, breaky, break, break. Now, it would have been a lot bumpier than that. But I think, you know... Uh, you know, it's a... I don't know. Let's start her up. Actually, I'll cheat. Right. <laughs> I'll cheat. So I made it. So this is the kind of thing, uh, you know, if you go too far out to sea, you're not going to get back in, are you? And it's all over. So I'm going to go off to where I was taken off. It's going to fall out of the sky. Uh, David uh, Tienan has subscribed. David, delighted to have you on board. We're always in the North European server. This is a random stream. But on Sundays at 2100 hours, 9 o'clock Irish local time, we're on by clockwork. Uh, we've got solar air here with us. Stairway, uh, Stairway Valley. Uh, Ghost Rider and Tim uh, in North Iron is, I think they're, I don't know if they're with us. I don't know if they're, there's Johnny Scrafton. I don't know if he's with us. There's Camo. I get to know your names. I get to know, you know, your tags and stuff uh, over, you know, time when you join us. Uh, everyone's welcome on the North European server. There's Steve Future. There's Johnny F73 there, regulars. And now we are on uh, joining a downwind. It's very strange. I'm just kind of at a thousand feet here and I haven't even looked in. I haven't even looked in um, to see how high I am. After a while when you're flying, you just get to know by looking out how high you are, you know, within those regions. Um, so happy days. Let's see who else is with us. Let's pop out here and have a look. 
Deep Future, uh, Johnny F, Copper Hat, Stairway uh, Valley is with us. There's usually a lot more on Sundays because everyone knows I'll be streaming, you know. Better hop back into the cockpit. Good, that's all nice. Happy days. Let's get the view so I can see my aircraft. Very nice. There's Copper Hat there. Very nice. The features coming into land. Uh, and this is real weather. It's a lovely day today in Ireland. Uh, as it's the summer. It's been quite a good summer so far as far as I'm concerned. Okay, we get a few rainy days. I don't mind that at all. That's fine. There we are, a thousand feet. So, uh, you want to keep close in. You know, you want to keep close in to the, to the shoreline. Because uh, if you have an... I'm up here all the time. If I had an engine failure, you know, I don't like people taking me where I don't want to go. So, uh, yeah, there we go. So let's pop it in for a full stop and then we're going to take the Airbus and do some crazy madness. It's about time. I did some crazy madness, really. <laughs> Power all the way back. Yeah. No, 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 that's good. Uh, let's get our 70 knots. Uh, have they fixed any of the... This is not a very good circuit. Uh, have they fixed the drag ratio on the update? Let's find out, shall we? I know with this approach. Straight away. See, I can't lower my head to see where I am. That's the difficulty. With, however, a VR headset, it's great. Ten flaps. Okay, I missed it. I missed the center line. That's fine. Ten flaps. 70 knots is what I want. There's a 70 knots. Oops, not quite. That was actually 65 knots. Now I've got 70. And just get that attitude. So I went past the center line a bit. Uh, yeah, you know, that's what happens. Uh, when you can't move, you can't look out. Uh, and the good news is, flying the real thing is a lot, a lot easier than the simulator. I can tell you that much. It is, it's a fact. A lot easier uh, flying, the, flying the sim. Stage flaps. I can do a short field here now. Stage flaps. Trim, trim, trim. Add a bit of power, going too slow. Going too slow. Lower the nose, very slow. Now a flare, you should see, I'm trying to avoid this in real life. There we go. Oh, 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 there we go. Nice bumps, so the bumps are coming along. Not, they need to be a bit more, I think current clinks make them a bit more obvious. But they're coming along, and you see all these bits of dirt here. Just see that bit there, the way the grass is worn? That's exactly like it is in the airfield. Exactly. Because it's obviously a picture from the air. So that's great. Let's get into the Airbus, shall we? <laughs> Will it work? <coughs> COVID. I don't know. I don't know. I didn't really... St anyway. Uh, may I stopped. That was fine. Right. Airbus time. Airbus time. Crazy Madness is about to begin. What location are you in? Uh, we're in uh, the North European server there, uh, Spif uh, Spiffle, right? Uh, Echo India November Charlie. North European server. Did I spell that right? Yes, I did. Echo India November Charlie North European server. If you want to join us, join us. Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, crazy Madness. Let's get the old uh, Airbus here. I wonder could we... I don't think we'll take off. But we'll try. <laughs> uh, I'm always using fly-by-war. If you're wondering when we're doing that. Close. That's good. Um, uh, go back. No. Uh, I'm going to start. I'm going to start. I'll go 3-6. Set his departure and start on the runway itself. So, but, right, let's try and make this. Uh, he says, expect a fighter escort. Excellent. Um, this is the first time uh, that I haven't seen the Fireflies in ages. They're always with us, but I'd say they're taking a break today. And they're always practicing the Fireflies. They're absolutely really, that skill they have, you know, perfection. They're aiming for perfection. Um, 
if you just look up, I think it's uh, the flyer, fireflies.com, uh, you'll see them. If you just Google it, Fireflies Flight Simulator, they're, they're uh, aerobatics in Flight Simulator. They really are very stunning. They're very good. Cabin crew sees from takeoff, Cabin Okay, first of all, right? First of all, let's use all the runway. Not that bit. All the runway. All of it. There we go. Can I go back a bit more? Yeah. Oh, a little bit more. Okay. Nice. Right. That's the first bit. I let the old instruments kick in. Now, uh, let's lighten our load. Let's lighten the bejesus out of our load. Can I just do that in one file swoop? Can I? Yeah. 4%. Oh, I mean, really? 100 gallons aside. Okay. 100 gallons aside. Uh, 120, 130. No payload. Oh, the whole thing's shut down on me. What? What? What's this? Control E. Don't do that. Don't do that. Why would you do such a thing? Everything's shut down. Yeah, no, that's... That saddens me. I hear the engines starting up, though. Can you hear them? Here, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll restart it. It'll, it'll be quicker to restart it than it will be to to actually start it manually, okay? So what I was going to do there, take all the fuel off, take all the pay payload off, uh, stage of flaps, we leave it to the vote. Uh, too little fuel, do future says, yes, of course, there's unusable fuel in chests as well, good for sim. I took all the fuel out, that's what happened. Uh, of course. So, yeah, 4%, obviously, you know, that's not going to be 14%. <laughs> Uh, I'm sure that's a lot of gallons there. Let's just take that down a bit there. I can't help myself. Have we done it again? Okay, uh, payload is zero. That's as much as I can do, isn't it? Really? Spitless spawning now. Happy days. Expect to fighter escort. Great. Uh, central gravity should be okay there. Uh, flaps. We'll put down. What do you reckon, guys? You want to get off the ground. That's one stage two. Yeah. Uh, we want him for coming in. Uh, uh, yeah. So I think that's all we can do. Isn't it? Okay. <laughs> I'm going to jam in the power. Keep the brakes on. It's going to complain. Yeah, I know. I got the back. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Brakes are off. And I can't hold it with the brakes. Uh, oh, the speed is flying. Look at this. Look at the speed. It's going to happen. 100 knots. 120. Rotating. Up we go. Positive rate gear up. Taking a bit of power off. We don't want to go too fast. And we're flying it like we stole it. it so it took off. Would it take off in real life? Like that? That was pretty good. I'm kind of surprised. I have to say, I'm going to leave the flaps the way they are. I'm going to put the gear back down. Get everything set up. Uh, let's leave her here. There we go. Gear's coming down. Yes, so this is uh, going to be interesting. I level off here. 1,000 feet. That will do. Uh, around about 1,000 feet. Keep it about 120. I think we'll be fine. Uh, 10 degrees there seems to be keeping it level. See in the turn there? That's okay. 10 degrees. Uh, I want to turn back to a heading of 180. Because by the time I've done the turn, you know. By the time I've done the turn. We're, we're half a mile out to sea. Oh, we've got Spittle with us. <laughs> Crazy madness. I'm climbing up now a little bit too much. 
Only keep a thousand feet. 1100 feet, big deal. Uh, it'd be no Do you know what, guys? And if you're, if you're, if you're kind of new to flight simming, flying it manually and, and being strict with your altitudes really helps. Try and get your thousand feet, for example, like I'm trying to do here. So I know 10 degrees would give me a, a level. So you can see here, this little, this little bar here, right, is the rate of descent or climb. Now, auto throttle's on. Get away, auto throttle. Don't annoy me. So we're kind of keeping our thousand feet ish. Maybe seven and a half degrees will do. So yeah, and we're on downwind. I'm going to give myself a nice long approach. And I'm going to plan. I'm going to leave the flaps where they are, gears where they are. And let's see if I can get this down. Uh, it's cli it wants to climb. I'm going too fast. For what I want. Okay, it's 1,300 feet. It's a big jet. I need a bit of, you know, need a bit more space, so I'm fine with that. Let's just trim it up here a little bit better. 140 knots. I want 140 knots at 1,000 feet. Let's go back down to 1,000 feet. It angers me. Just to give up like that, it angers me. Coming down to 140 knots and 1,000 feet. Uh, you see where I'm looking here, folks? See that? Adding a bit of power. You can spend hours doing this. Where is the power? Mm, very sensitive there. Come on, get down. Get down to your 1,000 feet, gripper. And this is what you practice, you know? And I haven't done this, obviously, for a while. Up to 7.5 degrees, maybe. No, that's too much. Maybe five. And there we go. And I want 140 knots. So that's the kind of thing. I'm not going to fit around with it too much, but you can nail it after a while. You know, you really can nail it. I just want to get that 140 knots and a thousand feet. It's bugging me now. So it's tricky at first, you know. There we go, 40 feet, back up to five degrees. A little bit of power to get that 40 knots there. Get down, 20 feet gripper. Accelerating, taking a bit of power back. This takes a while. Go on, thousand feet. Thousand feet and 140 knots. Just for a sec. There we go, thousand feet, 140 knots. Gripper Sims done it. That's that's what you practice, isn't it? Yay! There you go. Right there's Wicklow Town. Let's start turning for our base. I'm not going to be concerned about altitude so much now. There's Wicklow Town. Uh, we've got a gear down, we've got a flap set, and we're going to come into Newcastle. Uh, I don't mind if I climb a bit here. I really don't mind. Because I'm kind of far out now at the moment. You know. It's saying don't sink for some reason. Possibly because of the flaps. I was only flying here last week. Uh, nice and low towards the water. And the beaches were packed. There's lots of be beaches on, on the east coast of Ireland. Uh, they never usually are because everyone goes to Spain you know they're all going to Spain uh, because it's like 20 quid to get there but not now with Covid a lot of it power here would be all day uh, but the beaches were packed they're right beside each other I've uh, never seen the beaches in Ireland so packed because I can't go anywhere really except for the beaches because they opened up a bit and I'd say everyone's coughing now you know So there's Copper Hat. Uh, we've got, okay, Johnny uh, Scraffin, uh, Wactical Tank, Ghost R Rider, we've got uh, Joe Low, we've got Wiggy Low, Deep Future, Copper, uh, Gar Mods, is it? Copper Hat, Echo Bravo Bravo Sierra Yankee, and in the left hand corner there I can see uh, Dole Men Hotel, I think it is. Eight, three, seven, six. Okay, let's get this thing down. Let's get some more flaps down. Let's get all those flaps down. We need all those flaps down. We need serious breakage. Can we have max? No, we can't have max. Now, this is a grass airfield. This airplane would just skid all the way up towards Dublin. So it would. Uh, it would just, it's momentum. But let's see if it lands in the flight simulator. Uh, I can't quite see the runway. I'm kind of off the center line a bit. Okay, I'm getting onto it there. There's Johnny F73. 
Uh, hundred four, a bit too fast. Yeah. Uh, anything else I can do? No. Oh. Pay attention, Gripper Sim. Now I gotta remember this big aircraft behind me. I'd love a replay function. It's coming. Uh, I'm going to cheat here, and I'm gonna add reverse thrust. Reverse thrust. A heavy landing. Heavy landing. There we go. Brakes are on. Oh, 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 oh. Slippy, slippy, slidey, slidey, slippy. Wings breaking off. Slippy, slidey, slippy, slidey. Oh, my pens have come off the desk. Uh, I could have done that a bit better. But I think most people may have survived. We stopped very soon. There's Spiffy. He was right alongside us. That was, uh... That was, uh... Okay, the reverse is still on. That was interesting. That was, uh... Would you... That was interesting, I have to say. Uh, I think I should try that again. Yes. Uh, I, I, <laughs> Skyhawk61 says, Evening Gripper. Twitch seems a bit iffy this evening. Uh, keeps... Keeps our glassing. Is it we're upper banding? Is it not... Um, am I getting any warnings? I have no warnings here. Everyone okay with their stream? Is everyone... Let me know. Is everyone uh, happy enough? I'm going to do that one more time. And then, then we'll, we'll go. Good for me. Okay, so it might be just... Might be just Skyhawk. Uh, this is going to fall out of the sky now. And I'm going to have to recover it. That's why I'm going so high. So I'm going to try one more time. Oh, 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 oh. No, a little bit too high there, folks. A little bit too high. Just to save the whole taking off business and, you know. Uh, I think if I got the rudders a bit better, we would have been okay. Do you know? All the flaps are down. Gear's coming down. I know I get warnings. The warnings are going to stop now. There we go. All the power's off. I'm too high. Too fast. Clearing up the clutter. There goes Johnny F73. Uh, it did get a bit crazy there. I think it just skidded. Have they have they changed the you know the the drag factors with grass and asphalt and sand and all that kind of stuff? Because it just seemed to skid on me, which is realistic. Because think of all the momentum, you know. I'm going to come in at 120 knots this time. 120 knots. There we go. I'll just keep them spooled up a little bit, the old engines. We're good. Gear down. Full flaps. Oh, we'll get on the centre line. I'll keep it 120. Just keep a little bit of power there in case I need it. <laughs> Better get this, because I'm... I won't stop now. I'll be on this all the time until I get it. I just, I just don't want to go off the centre line. I'm a little bit coming off centre here. All the power's off now. Reverse thrust is on. <laughs> Reverse thrust on. Firm landing. Breaky, breaky, break, break. Full forward on the stick. Full forward on the stick. It's gonna work! <laughs> it's working! Oh, it's working very well. That is hilarious. And I'm stopping before the end of the runway. Breaks on. That is a bit of fun, folks. Really? Would that happen? Would that actually happen? I think we just go flying off into the into the box. The box are down here. Down there. You know? So I think yeah. Maybe the wheels just dig into the ground. I don't know. I don't think anyone will try it. D Future says brilliant. Anybody can do it. Twitch is good here, Copper has uh, head says fine. Or HCP said that's fine. Uh, if it ever goes twitchy, I always ask people if the sound isn't, so, you know, let me know. Type it in. Because sometimes you're streaming and for whatever reason, it gets rubber bandy, you know, when the frames drop. Uh, it has happened in the past. So who have you got with us? Just to say thank you to everyone. There's Copper Hat. Copper Hat came on. Uh, we have a few. I think these guys are flying around in Ireland randomly. 
Uh, we have T Future, as always. Echo Bravo Barber Sarah Yankee. Tim and Norton Aaron. Uh, Footshore Carmen, I think, is with us. Maybe they're going to England and they're not part of Well, anyway. Uh, who else was there? Someone was there I wanted to mention. Uh, there's only of Copper Hat. There's someone else. It was. Spittle. Or Spiffy. Spiffle. Spiffle. Spiffle, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, I'm definitely going to be on on Sunday, 9 o'clock, with Karen Craig. Uh, there will be more crazy madness than there was today. Today is really an exercise, uh, an exercise for me to learn the Airbus. Uh, and thank you very much to Deep Future. Thank you very much to... I should be writing all this down, by the way. Uh, thank you very much to who else? Johnny F is helping out. Uh, I've, uh, Bug Frog was helping out with, with the Airbus. Uh, who else? Oh, there's someone in my head, and I've forgotten who it is, and it's driving me mad. Um, Deep Future mentioned someone else was helping out, and I can't remember who it was. But anyway, thank you very much, everybody. Uh, so, yeah, that's the plan. I want to do two videos a week, and I want to stream then full-time, you know, uh, and then fly at weekends. So uh, that's the story. And I think, to being honest with you, it may be September 1st, before the YouTube videos come back in full strength. Uh, but I'll be streaming, as I have been. So good O. And guys, uh, Microsoft, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Microsoft. I'm honored by your presence. <laughs> Uh, and all the Microsoft team, thank you very much for, for rating me. Uh, I'm going to find out how to do that. Uh, and I'm does anyone know how to rate somebody? Anyone there on the on the on the stream? No, do you know? How I look it up. It's going to be in YouTube, isn't it? Uh, I will rate somebody hopefully, uh, and and have some fun with that. And then until Sunday, until Sunday, nine o'clock Irish time, uh, I'll be streaming with Colonel Clink. We'll be on for a couple of hours. I don't know what we're going to do yet. If you've got any suggestions, just email me uh, reactionreviewcrew at gmail.com and we'll come up with something. So, folks, thank you very much. I was really impressed uh, when I looked up and I saw, oh, there's Steve Future coming in in a big jet there here. Maybe we should watch him. Oh, my camera's not moving fast enough. There's Steve Future there. There he goes. There he goes. Breaky, breaky. He's getting sleepy sidey as well. He's getting a bit of sleepy sidage. Uh, he's going to do it. He's going to do it. Very nice, Steve Feature. Very nice. We might have a competition, actually, next next Sunday. Yeah? Uh, we'll see. You see, what we've done is Colonel Clink will get his camera and mark where someone has stopped for short field landing. So you might do this in the Airbus in Newcastle Airfield next Sunday. Just had an idea. Very nicely done, Deep Feature. Copper Hat is coming in. He's just watching. And that's it. Folks, I won't keep you any longer. Thank you very much. Thanks to Microsoft. Um, and thanks to... Uh, always the Thunderflies always join us. And thanks to... Uh, there's so many people. Really, you know. So, folks, uh, I will see you soon. Or on Sunday. I always end blabbering on. I'll see you soon, folks. Thanks for joining us. <laughs>